I can't complain, I guess, at this point, but getting hurt in May was a pretty awkward time. I really haven't been doing many tricks until about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and it's just been super hard. I mean, coming into an Olympic year, coming to X Games, you know, I didn't have a great season last year, but previous two years before that were some of the best seasons of my life. And of course, winning the Olympics, you uh, have a lot of eyes on you. It's pretty draining going through the qualifying process and I put a lot of work into this and of course my two goals this winter were to hopefully make the Olympic team and win X Games and unfortunately I just didn't have enough time on snow before these events started to get my skiing where it needed to be and you know I still have a long road ahead of me to get back to where I want to be and get back to the competitor I, I was before. It's just, it's been a long, long couple weeks and mentally I'm just taxed and pretty destroyed physically as well. I mean, my knee, I'm kind of hoping I didn't push it too hard too quick. I've already done five events now and it's only the end of January and I've only been skiing since early December so it's been pretty crazy how quick everything just happened and how all of a sudden the Olympic qualifiers are over they picked a team I'm not on it and uh, it's just kind of the reality of what happens when you get hurt oh my god man it feels incredible it's been such a emotional roller coaster so many events one after another after another, super jam-packed. And I was trying to do it for pipe and slope and just like kind of killing myself in the process, but just missed pipe and finally just securing my spot today feels so good. I can't even, I don't have words. <laughs> it went pretty well today. Got third in the Grand Prix and we'll be able to go to Korea for a second time to the Olympics. Ended up doing the final Grand Prix event and taking fifth place and uh, hopefully securing my spot for the Olympics, so Pyeong Chang back. I was, I was really bummed after the last couple comps because I did well at the first and then three in a row. But I just kind of didn't do well and then, uh, I don't know, I was just feeling sore today so I didn't really think it was going to happen. And then somehow it came together for the final event, so yeah, I'm hyped. My whole goal at this point, I mean, I set a new long-term goal, and uh, that's just to come back and win X Games next year. You know, I'm just getting really stoked to take the rest of the winter off from competition and try and learn a bunch of tricks, and that's my goal. This is definitely not the end of it for me. I am still hungry as ever. I still want to win every competition I enter. And career can peak at any point in time and you never know you can have two peaks you can have one peak you can never peak and I think you just got to give every opportunity you can once you win you know you can win again so you're going to keep going for it you're going to keep going until you're not winning anymore and that's why it's so hard to go out on top my life 
seems good, and the future is bright. A shadow from the past can change everything. Whoever you are, <laughs> whichever boss is about to go in the next Olympics, I really hope that they don't get caught up in the fame, that they use their platform of winning a gold medal to promote our sport more and give back to our sport and, you know, hopefully try and kickstart the industry back up. You have a short opportunity to change everything about our sport and, you know, prove why we deserve to be here, why we deserve to be in the Olympics, why we deserve to be in the X Games, and why we deserve primetime TV. Social media skiers. Olympics, Olympics, Olympics. Only thing washed up. You fail. Instagram. Team USA. Qualified for both slope and half height. Happy.